You may think about essentially three different types of computations that um, we have. We have uh, deterministic computation, which is a classical process where which takes your computer from well-defined input state and the computer then just follows a evolution that is determined by the algorithm and it goes from one configuration to another configuration to another configuration and then it ends up in some configuration that you consider the output to uh, the computation. So, um, so this is actually a classical deterministic computation. The most common notion of computation that um, computer scientists study. Now, there is another possibility, though, that you can allow your computer to uh, take random decisions, to take random steps, to have embedded uh, unbiased coin, and, and then depending on the outcome, the computer may just follow one computational path or another. So you may think about classical probabilistic computation as something that starts in a given input state. Your computer has a well-defined input, but then it branches into different configurations and just continues. And at some point, um, you may have uh, not one, but many possible outputs. But of course, you may be interested in, in, in only certain outputs, say one output that corresponds to the correct solution of the problem you are looking at or you're trying to solve using your computer. And in, in this particular scenario, when you look at this diagram, you can think about uh, this uh, probabilistic computation in terms of a classical theory of probability, of course. And then if you ask, what is the probability that my computer uh, starting this input will end up in this output, you simply just look at different computational paths that connect this input with this output and add probabilities corresponding to those paths. But when you are... Uh, allow to uh, build them when, when we build a machine that is actually truly a quantum machine then um, then what we will have to do when those computational steps are done by quantum means by um, uh, a quantum hardware then uh, computational uh, then then, add, then computing probabilities using just a classical uh, theory of probability is not good enough as we saw in this case, you will have to simply add amplitudes corresponding to those different paths. And um, the probability of the output in this case can be much greater or uh, you can, as compared to the, to the classical probabilistic case or, or much lower. So the, the, the whole art of quantum computing is essentially to prepare a huge quantum interference experiment uh, within the piece of hardware that is your quantum computer. You start with a given state, you build a quantum interference, uh, so allow your device to follow different computational paths, and by constructing the quantum algorithm, by constructing the operations in this quantum piece of hardware, you are aiming at amplifying <coughs> the probability that you will see one <coughs> particular output that corresponds to the uh, correct answer or, or several outputs if they correspond to the correct answer and you use quantum interference for that so different computational paths will have different phase shifts and hopefully when you collect all those paths they will just provide you a massive constructive interference on one output so uh, the probabilistic computations you add probabilities quantum computation you add probability amplitudes and you hope to achieve more